Red was one of the toughest opponents I ever faced. No matter how hard I hit her, which was pretty hard, she never backed down. Sorry, it feels strange to stand up here and talk about her in the past tense. Don't get me wrong, I'm honored to do this, but I never thought it would happen so soon for Red or her best friend, Trey. Wherever Red went, Trey was there too. And tonight's no different. They truly are a package deal. They always had each other's backs, and that was certainly the case when I faced off against Red in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Right now, this is anyone's match as far as I'm concerned. I'm sticking with my pick of the rookie sensation, Red, to take home the briefcase. Red faced an uphill battle just to qualify for this match. You have to wonder if that will affect your chances here tonight. Of course it will. You need to be fully rested if you want to win a grueling match like this. And Red came into tonight running on fumes. She's in full control now. Out all the way over. What a great job by Zelina Vega to take advantage. Oh, what a combo! Boom! Did you hear the impact? A Rondo in the Olympic Slam! Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. To the outside. Nice amateur takedown. Oh, again! Great way to break down your opponent. Charlotte turns it around. Nice move. Spinning arm breaker. The ladder goes. Up, up, and away. Ooh! She has the briefcase in her grasp. She just has to pull now. It's a bit of a risky move right here. Big time. Back inside the ring. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, heavy duty right here. And the instinct from Zelina Vega on display. Nice job by Charlotte there. Look at the queen go! There she goes. Ooh, that kick. And that does it. Ronda Rousey captures the win. Red was one of the toughest opponents I ever faced. No matter how hard I hit her, which was pretty hard, she never backed down. Sorry, it feels strange to stand up here and talk about her in the past tense. Don't get me wrong, I'm honored to do this, but I never thought it would happen so soon for Red or her best friend, Trey. Wherever Red went, Trey was there too. And tonight's no different. They truly are a package deal. They always had each other's backs, and that was certainly the case when I faced off against Red in a Money in the Bank ladder match. Right now, this is anyone's match as far as I'm concerned. I'm sticking with my pick of the rookie sensation, Red, to take home the briefcase. Red faced an uphill battle just to qualify for this match. You have to wonder if that will affect your chances here tonight. Of course it will. You need to be fully rested if you want to win a grueling match like this. And Red came into tonight running on fumes. Devastating elbow. Oh, again! And Charlotte does what she does best. Elbow smash! Drop kick! Oh, oh, great height. Oh, what a chop! Harsh impact. Powerbomb planted. Back in from the floor. 
stomping. Ouch. Oh, straight forearm. Into the backbreaker. Oh, God, that hurt. No, this isn't going to end well. Oh, oh my God! Surfboard leg breaker. She seems to have gained the advantage here. She's a live wire when she's plugged in. Hip toss. Beautiful sambo style. We've got a climber. Everyone must to the queen, especially her opponent. Connected on that. Oh, no, this isn't going to end well. Oh, oh, my God. Surfboard leg breaker. Great offense by Charlotte. Perhaps feeling a little more comfortable on the outside at this point. Just right in the face. Now oh, that's not right. Somebody do something about that. Interesting. There's the backslide driver. You know what they call that? Something no one would ever do to me. Great technical prowess from Bianca Belair. Kick right to the leg. Nicely done. What are we gonna see? Here. Nice amateur takedown. in her grasp. She just has to pull now. Perhaps some wishful thinking going on there, Michael. Look at this, guys. Grabbing at the briefcase. Gotta be fast here. Oh, clothesline. Using the ladder as a weapon. Ouch. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum back. Breaker stretch. Try it. It's going to be a race to the briefcase between Red and Ronda Rousey. Hold on. The rest of their opponents are not ready for this match to be over. And Red and Ronda come crashing down. 
it's an absolute free-for-all to see who's going to get the money in the bank briefcase. Ronda and Red have recovered, and I think they might have other plans. Oh, no. This is total chaos. The window of opportunity is now wide open for Red and Ronda Rousey. Hammerlock applied. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, that's going to break it on. Ooh, what impact. It's a tough spot to find yourself in, that's for sure. Oh, incredible height. Uh-oh. Toss to the outside. Ah! Striking combination. Boom! Ho, ho, ho. Setting that ladder up now. The ascent begins. Oh. Smart strategy, attack the knee. Can she pull it down? Not much time. Uh-oh. And a suplex. Technical prowess from Bianca Belair. Here's Charlotte. The queen is showing what she is genetically superior. Face buster. She could just pull the briefcase down. She will win this thing. It seems a bit early to be going for the win, if you ask me. Not if they can win it right here, though.
Talk about rocking the jaw. Here she goes, back in the ring now. To the outside. I'm not sure Charlotte should be showing up her competition like this. Here we go. Oh, loving blow. Oh, man. Mat slam with some attitude. Oh, no. Someone call the orthodontist. Double underhook applied. Up and down. I think the crowd knows what we're about to see. That can certainly do it. Oh man, Ronda Rousey doesn't even know where she is. Oh man, they don't even seem hurt after that. That would have been a shock. Inside the ring now. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's an attitude behind it. Oh. Kick right to the midsection. Oh, that's how you establish dominance. Interesting move. Ronda Rousey's done playing. Working on the arm, just like she envisioned. Ronda Rousey needs to capitalize on this opportunity. Heavy duty right hand. Oh, what a suplex. Here's the setup. And there's a takedown. Oh, nasty impact. Nice amateur takedown. Using the elbow as a weapon. And Shayna Baszler making her think twice. There she goes. Big move coming. Climbing up the ladder. Thunderous slam. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Looking to grab the briefcase. Almost got it. Looking super focused too, Cole. This may very well be it. Textbook fireman's 
carry takeover. Oh, look at this incredible power. Gut wrench suit. Bianca Belair with the victory. Red was one of the toughest opponents I ever faced. No matter how hard I hit her, which was pretty hard, she never backed down. Sorry, it feels strange to stand up here and talk about her in the past tense. Don't get me wrong, I'm honored to do this, but I never thought it would happen so soon for Red or her best friend, Trey. Wherever Red went, Trey was there too. And tonight's no different. They truly are a package deal. They always had each other's backs and that was certainly the case when I faced off against Red in a Money in the Bank ladder match. Right now, this is anyone's match as far as I'm concerned. I'm sticking with my pick. Red was one of the toughest opponents I ever faced. No matter how hard I hit her, which was pretty hard, she never backed down. Sorry, it feels strange to stand up here and talk about her in the past tense. Don't get me wrong, I'm honored to do this, but I never thought it would happen so soon for Red or her best friend, Trey. Wherever Red went, Trey was there too. And tonight's no different. They truly are a package deal. They always had each other's backs, and that was certainly the case when I faced off against Red in a Money in the Bank ladder match. Right now, this is anyone's match as far as I'm concerned. I'm sticking with my pick of the rookie sensation, Red, to take home the briefcase. Red faced an uphill battle just to qualify for this match. You have to wonder if that'll affect your chances here tonight. Of course, it will. you need to be fully rested if you want to win a grueling match like this. And Red came into tonight running on fumes. Oof. She's really taking it to her core here. And you can't argue with the result. Just assaulting the torso. She's going after her midsection. She's going after her midsection again. And can you blame her? It practically has a target on it at this point. Oh! Going it after the upper body. And it's targeted attack. She's going after her midsection again. Taking it to the midsection. These attacks to the core are clearly having an effect here, Cole. really taking it to her core here. And you can't argue. Attacking the core now. She's going after her midsect. Going it after the upper body. She's going after her midsect. Just assaulting the torso here. Clearly part of the game plan, Michael. Oh. Attacking the core now. Yeah, without your core, Michael, you are essentially. She's really taking it to her core. Back to the torso here. Just assaulting the torso here. Clearly part of the game plan, Michael. it to the midsection these attacks she's really taking it to her core attacking the core now yeah without your core michael you are essential she's going after her midsection she's going after her midsection back to the torso here she's going after her midsection she's really taking it to her attacking the core now yeah without your core michael you are essentially useless she's going after her midsection again and can you back to the torso here Eliminate the core. This is a great move. Incoming! No, she's really taking it to her core, just assaulting the torso here. Clearly part of the game plan, Michael. Back in the ring again. She's going after her midsection again. And can you blame her? It practically has a target of going after the upper body. And it's targeted attacks like this that put people on shelves for a very long time. She's really taking it to her core here. And you can't... Attacking the core now. Taking it to the midsection. These attacks to the core are clearly having an effect here, Cole. She's really taking it to her core here. And you can't argue with the results. Textbook Fireman's Carry Takeover. Back to the torso here. Eliminate the core. This is a great move. What are we going to see here? She's 
really taking it to her core here. And you can't argue with her just assaulting the torso. She's going after her midsection again. And can you blame her? She practically has a target on it at this point. Oh, that was just back to the torso here. You eliminate the core. This is a great move. There she goes. She's really taking it to her core here. And you can't argue with her just assaulting the torso, attacking the core now. Yeah, without your core, Michael, you are essential. Oh, here it comes. She's really taking it to her core here. And you can't argue with the results. What are we going to see here? Boom! Running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Oh. Harsh impact. It's going to be a race to the briefcase between Red and Ronda Rousey. Hold on, the rest of their opponents are not ready for this match to be over. And Red and Ronda come crashing down. It's an absolute free-for-all to see who's going to get the money in the bank briefcase. Ronda and Red have recovered, and I think they might have other plans. Oh, no. This is total chaos. The window of opportunity is now wide open for Red and Ronda Rousey. Taking it to the midsection. These attacks, she's going after her midsection again. And can you blame her? It practically has a target on it at this point it after the upper body and it's targeted attacks like this that put people on shelves for a very long time she's taken to the floor when she can be ever so dangerous running hurricane rana she's going after her midsection again and can you blame her it practically has a target on it at this point Back to the torso here. You eliminate the core. She's really taking it to her core here. And you can't argue with taking it to the midsection. These attacks to the core. She's really taking it to her core. Attacking the core now. Yeah, without your core, Michael, you are essentially useless. Back now inside the ring. She's going after her midsection again. And can you blame her? It practically has a target on it at this point. For something big. Well, if Red thinks she can match Ronda Rousey with strikes, then she's insane. And now Ronda is punishing Red. Is it too late to change my pick? Wait a second. Red reverses. Zelena Vega has recovered and is setting up a ladder. She's using everything she has left to drag herself up each rung, but will it be enough? It might not be. Red's going to try to beat Zelina to the top. Hold on, it's Andrade. What's he doing out here? Is he putting Zelina Vega on his shoulders? How is this legal? It's not only legal, it's smart. It's Trey. I think he's seen enough from Andrade. Trey has neutralized Andrade.
And that was the opening Red needed. This pains me to admit, Byron, but you might have been right about your prediction. She's going to do it. In her first attempt, Red is going to win the Money in the Bank ladder match. Wait, it's Ronda Rousey. This isn't over yet. Ronda's got Red's arm. Arm ball on the top of the ladder. She's got it locked in. Red's in big trouble. Yeah, it's going to be hard for her to grab a briefcase with a broken arm. Can she escape before it's too late? Uh, this truly is a historic day. I don't think I've seen you dressed up since our senior prom. <laughs> oh yeah, our one and only date together because no one else would go with us. I remember showing up in that sweet homemade million dollar man suit. Didn't you wear a cane mask? No wonder we couldn't get dates. To be fair, the theme of the prom was a masquerade. Eh, still weird. You have the list, right? No, I thought you had it. Seriously? I put it in the safe just like you told me to. Man, the way you treat that thing, you'd think it was the Magnet Carta. Did you say magnet? Yeah, it's some really old, valuable magnet, right? Just get it out of there. <laughs> no one was going to break into a hotel room and steal an old piece of notebook paper from high school. It's not just an old piece of paper. That list has been the roadmap to our entire careers, and now there's only one thing left to cross off. Did you forget the combination? It might have slipped my mind. But don't worry, I wrote it down on my phone. Which is also in the safe. This is why I always said we should have got the list tattooed on us. No chance of losing it and we'd have way more street cred. Yeah? Well, I'm gonna be getting a teardrop tattoo if you don't get that thing open. This is what's going to give us confidence, recognition, success, everything we've ever wanted. Your Earth Science Notebook is going to do all that? No. We're going to use it to make a list of everything we'll accomplish someday when we become WWE superstars. We could do that. Or we could play my favorite lunchtime game, Guess What Mr. Bowman's Sweat Stains Look Like Today. I'm kind of seeing a heart shape. What do you think? I think you need to take this seriously. Besides, it's a proven fact that if you write down your goals, it helps you achieve them. Actually, now I'm thinking it looks more like a one-eared rabbit. Fine. I'll go first to get the ball rolling. Become WWE Divas Champion. Your turn. Okay. Star in a WWE action movie. Really? That's one of your goals? Do you want me to do the list or not? Besides, it's a proven fact, WWE action movies are some of the finest pieces of cinematic art ever produced, so it would be an honor to appear in one. Whatever. 
Train at the dungeon. Come up with awesome wrestling names. Team with Mickey James. Get my own action figure. Compete on NXT. Win a dance off. Wrestle Lita. Find out what's inside Undertaker's urn. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Be in a WWE video game. Win a ladder match. I've got a match for you. My butt, your face. What are you two fartwads doing? This table is reserved for wrestling team members only. I thought there was a lot of boogers stuck underneath it. <laughs> Funny. You can leave now. Sorry, we're busy. Get my own action figure? Become WWE Divas Champion? Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey! Being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? <laughs> That was a huge mistake. I, for one, can't wait to see Red put Brooklyn in her place. Oh, so much for unbiased commentary. Hey, this is Red's memory of how it went down, so of course I'm pulling for it. You want it too? Oh, yeah. I am. Go Red! Reminds me of that movie. I, for one, can't wait to see Red put Brooklyn in her place. Oh, so much for unbiased commentary. Hey, this is Red's memory of how it went down, so of course I'm pulling for her. You are too. Oh, yeah. I am. Go Red. This reminds me of that movie with the spinning top. Everything's confusing and a little bit off. For example, I wasn't even a WWE commentator when Red was in high school. Well, you're barely a WWE commentator now. None of this makes sense. Just sit back and enjoy the ride, Saxton. Brooklyn Von Braun is a terrible human being and deserves everything she's getting here tonight. I could not agree more, Michael. I couldn't believe what Brooklyn did to their list. I mean, what did she expect was going to happen after that? Yeah, if you ask me, Brooklyn's the real fart wad. This reminds me of the time I stood up to my bully in high school after years of being picked on. Weren't you homeschooled? Yeah, but my sister was pretty tough back then. If the principal shows up, Brooklyn started it, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Totally.
No matter what happens here, I think we can all agree that Red rules and Brooklyn drools, right? <laughs> Without a doubt. It's pretty clear at this point that Red is the far superior athlete. I thought that was the case coming into this match, and it's only being confirmed. These two are lucky to have each other as friends. I agree. You know, it actually reminds me a lot of my friendship with you, Corey. Only in this reality, buddy. Brooklyn might have an opening here. Brooklyn gets nailed with the sliding lunch tray takedown. Can Red capitalize? She's going up top. Red with the picture perfect moonsault. That's it. It's all over. Red cemented herself as way tougher and cooler than Brooklyn will ever be. That's exactly what happens when you make fun of Red. You pay dearly. I'm still kind of confused about everything that just happened, guys. Well, don't hurt your imaginary head, Byron. Wait, 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 let me get this straight. You remember your fight with Brooklyn when we were in high school taking place in a WWE arena with a ring sold out crowd and commentators? The guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning my memory? No, the guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning your sanity. Whatever. I may have taken a few liberties with my story, but that is how I choose to remember it. Well, as much as I'd love to join you in rewriting history, that day is scorched into my brain because that's how I got my nickname, Trey. This is how it really went down. Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas Champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey, being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? <laughs> that was a huge mistake. Oh no, I've unleashed Hothead Red. I'm gonna take that marker, bring it to your grandmother's nursing home and cross out parts of her chart so when the nurse goes to give her turndown service, she won't know to flip her over. That's right, I'm gonna give your grandmother bed sores. What is wrong with you? Calm down, deep breaths, maybe we can talk this out. I'm done talking. <laughs> this is what happens when you mess with the captain of the wrestling team. What are you gonna do? Hit me with a steel chair? Put me through a table. I'm going to get help. <laughs> Everyone already knows Hothead Red, but let me introduce you to her best friend, Trey. Get it? Because he busted his butt on a lunch tray. Trey, 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 Trey. Now her face matches her nickname.
That could have been way worse. Yeah. Brooklyn could have posted a video of the whole thing online. Oh, wait, that's exact. I meant she could have dumped something worse on me, like mayo or hot sauce. And hey, at least she didn't destroy our list. So what? I'm not going to do any of those things anyway. What do you mean? We were just embarrassed in front of the entire school and currently 672 people on the internet. I bet a bunch of those are repeat views. Great. We're not even touching on the fact that I got beat up by a lunch tray. I'm never going to be a WWE superstar. I'll just go to college and get a lame job like my parents want me to. <sighs> I think you need to read the letter again. This... See? This is what I'm talking about. I can't even open my locker. What's your combination? 16339, I think. Letter, please. Here we go. I think this section is relevant right now. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is we did, but we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. And that life is one where you can have the freedom to follow your dreams no matter what they might be, to become anything you want. Using the only letter I have from my real parents as some sort of motivational speech is kind of a cheap move. They're right though. You got a second chance in life and you need to make the most of it. So why sell yourself short? You need to at least try. Fine. But when this whole WWE thing doesn't work out, I'm blaming you. It'll work out. I promise. Assuming you never have to wrestle a lunch tray. They're actually a lot tougher than they look. Okay, so maybe my memory of that day is a little off. Severe emotional trauma will do that. <laughs> but did I really say all that stuff about her grandmother? Yep. You had some serious rage issues back then. Did you also forget that's how you got your nickname because you were always seeing red? No, I remember. And then Brooklyn tacked on the hot head part. <laughs> Gotta give her credit for that. You know, the rhyming definitely made it catchier. Hot head red, hot head red, hot head red. Okay, okay, we get it. Have you figured out that's safe yet? <sighs> no, but I'm pretty sure I use the same combination I've always used for everything, which is...
And that's not it either. Step aside. My memory might be foggy on some things, but I had to open your locker so many times in high school that I think I remember. Got it. I'm sorry you were locked in there all alone for so long. Mommy won't ever let that happen again. There's something seriously wrong with you. You're just jealous. We should get going, we can't be late. Hey, we got a message from President Johnson. Do you think you impressed the most electrifying president in United States history with all your career achievements? Actually, you do. All the best on your big day, I'll be watching from the People's White House. That's cool. <laughs> but I, I voted for Kane.
I still can't believe it's really all over for you and Red. I know. It is starting to sink in, though. Just this morning, I was thinking about that time we faced each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Man, that was brutal. Yeah, but thanks to you in that match, now every time my jaw hurts, I know it's gonna rain. Really? Maybe you should get that checked out. No way. You might be the champ who runs the camp, but I'm the champ who knows when it's damp. Yeah, that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. I'd love to reminisce some more, but I should get going since my jaw barometer is telling me it's about to sprinkle. Good seeing you, AJ. I just wanted to congratulate you, Red. You really deserve this. Thanks, Natty. I know we had some differences over the years, but we always worked them out in the ring. Yeah, except that one time we got into it backstage. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. You threw me into a road case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What were we even fighting about? The usual stuff. Who was better, the title, you saying you were the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. That's right, now I remember. Things have clearly... ...gotten personal between Red and Natalya. This is on Red for claiming she was the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. That was pretty much a direct shot at Natty. Natalya is certainly proud of her legacy and will go to any lengths to defend it. Things have clearly gotten personal between Red and Natalya. Uh. This is on Red for claiming she was the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. That was pretty much a direct shot at Natty. Natalya is certainly proud of her legacy and will go to any lengths to defend it. Uh. Power bomb planted. Oh, again! Things have clearly gotten personal between Red and Natalia. This is on.
Things have clearly gotten personal between Red and the... Things... have clearly gotten personal between Red and Natalya. This is on Red for claiming she was the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. That was pretty much a direct shot at Natty. Natalya is certainly proud of her legacy and will go to any lengths to defend it. Power oh, bomb! Stomping down! Again! And look at for a back suit. Things have clearly gotten personal between Red and Natalia. This is on Red for claiming she was the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. That was pretty much a direct shot at Natty. Natalia is certainly proud of her legacy and will go to any lengths to defend it. Oh, targeting the stomach. Oh, kick right to the gut. Ugh. DDT! Oh, foot just stomping Ugh. down. Power bomb. Oh, again. Oh. oh. Elbow smash. Natalia is a third generation superstar and extremely confident, but pedigree and confidence can only get you so far in WWE, especially in a match like this. What does Natalia have to do here to pull out the win? I think it's pretty obvious. Natalia's best strategy has to be soften her opponent's back to prepare for the patented Hart family sharpshooter. That's the ace in the hole and the reason why Natalia is so confident. And it's Natalia with the reversal. Bulldog. Elbow drop. Ooh. Oh, what a forearm. Natalia able to counter beautifully. Oh. Kick right to the midsection. Uh oh. Neck breaker. Oh, yeah, here's Natalia. Oh, kick right to the gut. Oh, Man. my God, what an elbow. DDT. Going after the upper body. And it's targeted attacks like this that put people on shelves for a very long time. Setting up. <laughs> really focusing on the torso here. An attack like this will really leave you gasping for air. Uh 
Oh. Boom. Uh. What an inverted DDT. What impact! Boom! What a forearm! Oh, kick right to the gut! Oh, look at this! Oh, oh, scoop man. slam! Punch. And it's Natalia with the reversal. Leg drop. Drop kick hits the mark. Look out here. Sherman suplex. She's in full control now. Ah! Alabama slam. That was all sorts of nasty. Oh, oh. this is, what's this gonna be? Wheelbarrow. Flapjack. Face first. It's over. Natalia landed it right there. Something big is coming. German suplex. Producing a trampling. Natalia is a force within the ring. the suplex man oh oh boom what impact Shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. And it's Natalia with the reversal. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. Ah. That's how you stop your opponent. A oh, striking blow. Uh. Boom! Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. She's got her where she wants her. Natalia able to counter beautifully. Oh. Healthy German suplex. This has become a monumental struggle for these competitors. Oh. It is down to who still has the energy, the resolve to put the pedal to the metal. Boom! Oh, no, this isn't going to end well. Oh, the knee just being torn apart now. Uh. Power bomb. Oh. Natalia says, not this time. Uh. Absolutely spiked. DDT. She just 
just keeps using that. Hey, wouldn't you? Oh, shows no mercy. And that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, nasty impact. Uh-oh. And a suplex. Uh-oh. Neck breaker. Drop kick. Beautiful. Oh, shows no mercy. And that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Just caught flush. Wow, what impact! <sighs> What's this? Down! The Jinoku driver! Power slam! What impact! Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Oh, oh my God, what an elbow. German suplex. Boom! Right between the eyes. She's in control. Slam down hard. Oh, oh. this is what's this gonna be? Wheelbarrow! Flapjack! Face first. It's over. Uh. Hooked up. And down. The Jinoku driver. Right on point. Dropkick hits the mark. Off the crate, forearm! That connected. Natalia strikes. What a win for Natalia. Things have clearly gotten personal between Red and Natalia. This is on Red for claiming she was the best female super.